Hello good people from the YouTube, here's Marcelo Durham once again and today we're going to continue with the second part about the Fender Champions 40 which is an amp that I don't like very much but I have my reasons to get it, not just to do a YouTube video but since I'm doing all this stuff with it, I want to share. Uh, so basically I have a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, I wasn't using it, um, I was using it as a cab so I had a Vox MV50 hookup with the speaker in the cab and I was using that because it's just too bloody loud to use here in my apartment. Also I was not taking it to gigs and I'm not touring at the moment uh, even though I have my band M files. Uh, so I thought mm, okay it's getting dusty here so maybe I should get something lighter right and I have to say the Tone Master series I've been watching videos about this series for the past two years and I just thought you know the marketing worked on me. I, I felt like curious about it but I also don't like the fact that it's a digital amp. I was a bit annoyed about that so I mean I have plugins I don't need a box with a plugin inside right unless I want to take the plugins with me but that idea like what I was liking about it was the design and and it looks cool and it's so lightweight and blah, blah. that's what was kind of but but then I thought, oh, I'm going to get one of these, but they're so expensive, they're like plus a thousand dollars, pounds, whatever. Even used, if you check used, I think the, the cheapest one that I found was 650, but they go generally for 800, 750 pounds here in the UK, which is a lot of money. Like I paid 300 pounds on my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe and I paid 100 pounds on this. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do the poor man Ton Master which is the whole objective of this video is the is that concept of the poor man Tom Master. I could even put a little badge here of Tom Master on it and you know it looks like the Tom Master um, but I don't like the amplifier here so I'm gonna use with the MD50 as I was using my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Still I decided just for the sake of comparison use this amplifier with my modification which is the speaker. That's the only modification I actually did. I'll show you a uh, little things that I did to the amp here in the back in a second but that's basically it. I changed the speaker and I'm gonna use with a different amplifier I'm not gonna use this I'm gonna bypass this. So I was watching the review of Pete Thorne on, uh, his, uh, on the Celestian I think it's more commercial than a review of that video but anyway. Um, he was doing this uh, video about the Celestian uh, V-Type Neo speaker, Neo Demon speaker. And I thought, okay, everyone's getting the, the cream back, but it's way more expensive. So from 100 pounds to 160. And I thought, well, I wanna keep this cheap. So uh, 100 pounds on the amplifier used, plus 100 pounds on the, on the, on the speaker. And I'm selling my, my Fender Hot Rod, which will basically gain me 300 pounds back, so 100 pounds profit, if you call it, uh, that I'm gonna spend in a pedal or something. But anyway, the point is that we got, following the P Torn video, uh, this speaker, which at first I thought it was kind of weird, but then it grew on me and now I like it. I think it's really, really good. It's way better than the speaker that was originally here. By the way, there's a sound comparison coming soon, so stick, bear with me. Uh, so it's way better than the, the speaker that was originally here. Funny enough, the one that was here, which is the Fender Special Design speaker, was actually 9.2 kilos. When I changed to this one, thinking that that one was a ceramic one, I changed for this one, and it's actually now the amplifier weights 9.5 kilos, or like 300 grams more. So it's like, it's actually heavier. I like to think that is because maybe the material, the other materials are a little bit better or the magnet is just bigger. I don't know. But um, thinking about it, it means that the other one that was already here, the speaker, is a Neo Demon speaker as well. So, you know. But, funny enough, this one sounds way better. Okay? The branded one, it's not a special. It's, and I wasn't sure, pe most people don't like too much these V-type um, speaker, but they say it has characteristics of vintage 30s and 
green bags and all that whatever you know but then it's a neodymium so it doesn't sound like the other ones well, anyway a bunch of foreign talk and that kind of stuff I just thought you know what I'm gonna get it because it's cheap uh, it sounded good in Pete Torn's video even though he might you know do anything sound good and and it's very light and, and it's a brand that I like so let's go for it and if I don't like it I'll sell it send it back and get a green back or a cream back or whatever but I can tell you already I liked it at first it was different and a bit funny I thought it was weird like I felt a little bit of compression like a natural compression in it like as if a compressor was on on it compared to those speaker in the Fender Hot Dog Deluxe but today we're gonna stick with the comparison with the original one that was in here and we're just gonna use the original amplifier as well meaning that we're not gonna hear with the MV50 at least not at this one if you do want to hear this speaker with the MV50 please put in the comments tell me that you want that video and I'll do a part three sorry about that uh, anyway before we go to the comparison I just want to show you guys uh, a little things that I did here in the amp so I'm gonna use this phone to show so what I did here I got the the speaker and it's connected through this cable that I got on eBay It's made here in the UK and it's three meters long so I can go all the way from the box to my desk um, where I have the MV50 uh, I put it here uh, this um, oh wow wow the speaker was affecting the focus of my phone Okay, let's try again. So, I put this little hook here just to uh, keep the, the cable safe so it doesn't pull from the top of the, of the speaker here. And I also, where, where it used to be the, the connection of the original speaker here, I attached a guitar stereo jack, the stereo one just because they're a little bit more robust. And I put the the original clippers from you know the the speaker here, so I can actually use the amplifier, and and I can unplug and plug into MV50. I can plug and unplug as much as I want. Eight ohms, seventy watts. MV50 is fifty watts, but at eight ohms it's only twenty five watts. So you know, and it's loud, man. It's loud. If, once again, if you want the third video, just check, just put it down here and I'll do it. If we have a few comments at least asking for that, then I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, well, I talked a lot. Let's go to the comparison because I don't want this video to be too long.
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the comparison, the comparison between the, the two speakers. Uh, this one is, at first, there was so much more hiss, so much more hiss, and I thought, oh my god, this, this speaker is terrible. But guess what? It was way louder. So that's why I got the hiss. The hiss is coming from the amplifier. The speaker was just making it louder. The speaker is more efficient, the, the V-type. So it was putting more noise and more volume. So the ratio is kind of the same. Um, and also it has more mid-range and a more smooth top end, as they say. So it's not as harsh as the original speaker on it. And I loved it. I loved it. I, I, it's way better just for that. Compared to the Hot Rod Deluxe, I still prefer this one too, but it's more like about having two different types of speaker than better quality, you know? Uh, it's not like it's, it's better, it's just different. Um, but I, I prefer. Uh, so it's 100% approved this uh, Neodymium uh, speaker. By the way, I now have any association with Celestian or P-Torn or anyone or Fender or whatever. This channel is 100% indie no sponsors no patreon no nothing okay so yeah thanks for watching subscribe like all that stuff if you want to support what i'm doing here and there is a lot of videos about drum for shanti and red hot peppers coming soon because i'm gonna get my first partnership in this channel ever <laughs> and uh i'll explain more when the video comes see ya have a good time peace take care and bye